Today's grandma is full of good spirits. And in fact, we first encountered it walking along the streets and it caught our eye. It wasn't just one, but a plethora of these spirit shakers that pulled us in. We wanted to know more. And we have the artist John Baring Gould here with us today to explain to us the journey of how these came to be and the journey they have taken him on. I'm the maker of the Spirit Shaker and I've been doing this for I think about 13 years now. It all started uh, in about 95. I was working in a bakery. I was the front counter person. There was a woman who uh, was a baker in the back. Um, and she was a practicing witch, and she used to give me all sorts of little odd objects, a black corn necklace, bag of herbs, you know, keep this with you, it'll keep you safe. Uh, she went down to Latin America and came back uh, and gave me a gourd, just a, a gourd with a, a face carved in the top of it, and she said it contained a spirit. And since it had seeds in it and it was a rattle, I just always called it a spirit shaker. Fast forward about five years, um, I was at Mass College of Art receiving my master's degree, and I had to have a graduate show. Um, and I was working in clay and I've decided, um, you know, I'll, I'll start making these little people. You know, in, in making these, there are, there are many, many steps. First, I'm making just the raw egg out of clay um, and then I'm filling it with spirits and then they have to dry a little bit. Uh, I then take them out and I start putting the faces on. Um, and then, uh, you know, later I start glazing them and they're, they're being dipped into glazes and then I load the kiln and yeah. they have their faces, they have their colors. You know, they're, they're born. They're born, yeah. They come out of the kiln, they get put into little boxes. Each one of the spirit shakers, you know, no two are the same. Um, they have little nuances and personality. So you give these as a gift and someone gets to kind of connect with the face first. And then they have the, each has its own voice. You shake the spirit shaker and no two sounds are the same. And that's where the magic happens, your interaction with these. It's such a meaningful gift to give to someone um, for good luck or if you're wishing someone um, to get well. So the spirit shakers that John is making have so much emotive power. It's a pleasure to share their magic with you. Mm -hmm.